86-63, the Scarlet Knights go down uh, to the Illini, number 14 ranked, number 14th ranked Illinois fighting Illini. Tough out for Rutgers twice now. Illinois sweeps the season series. We still have not won at Illinois, um, although they've had some rough times at the rack in years past. That is not the year this year. Our team is just not really equipped to uh, do battle with the Illini. They are a good team uh, with weapons all over the court. They know what to do. They know how to beat you. Uh, obviously, Taron Shannon coming back from suspension adds a great spark for the Illini. He went off quite a bit there, uh, showboating a little at the end, and I don't mean that necessarily in a derogatory way. He was just balling at the end of the game there. Um, Cliff Amore showed up, 22 points. You know, uh, but sadly, as I've told you all season, the way that the Scarlet Knights are going to be able to win games this year, if at all, is when, you know, a bunch of different guys happen to be contributing at the same time and we're shooting, you know, kind of, we're, we're getting hot shooting the ball. That was not the case today. Uh, only three three-pointers made uh, in the 30s from the field. The Illini made six three-pointers, but they were shooting much better than us from the field. Uh, Out-rebounded us quite a bit. It was 30-something, I think 24 uh, in the rebound department um, and, you know, on the defensive side. So just not a whole lot we could do, just outplayed in really every facet. Andre Hyatt lent 11 points to the cause, but, you know, that is what it is when, uh, you know, Mawat Mags got two points, when Gavin Griffiths continues to struggle this first year, has zero points. And, you know, when you're not getting as much from the other guys, it's going to be a tough outing. Now, a little bit of a spark there uh, at the beginning of the second half, pulled to within four points. But the Illini just went off from there. I believe they hit seven or eight straight field goals. And it was just going to be very tough for Rutgers to stay in that game. You know, just that kind of year right now. And and like I said, I had to take the home victory against Nebraska because it was an overtime game and it was fun and there was a lot to, you know, get happy about. But you got to take your victories, you know, in one night at a time increments this season, guys. We fall um, to 2-5 and five on the year in, the, in conference. Um, you know, just going to be a tough year in and out no matter how you slice it. Um, so we got to get back to the drawing board. And, you know, it's going to be the same every game. You know, either guys are on and guys are all contributing or guys are not uh, all all hitting it, hitting shots when we need them to. And this is the result we get. Uh, even when it was kind of still within reach towards the end of the, you know, middle end of the fourth, uh, Jermichael Davis with a nice steal, you know, and then he loses it out of bounds. Then he's going down for a layup. He gets fouled but blocked. I mean, just all around today. Illinois was not going to let us really make this a game, even though we attempted to at some point. It's just the nature of this team this year. This day was not our day. Uh, so we'll have to see you soon. Uh, if you have not done so, I know this was a very short, very brief video, but, you know, basketball this season has not been the most fun to talk about. I will break it down a little more going forward when I start getting back into the weekly groove of shows. But if you have not done so... Sometimes I just like chilling with you guys after a game and just sharing brief thoughts. Hit subscribe if you like Rutgers content anyway, though. We have big, big news coming up for the podcast, especially in advance of football season. A lot of cool things going on, none of which would have been possible unless I had the viewers like you, the Scarlet Faithful like you, who click subscribe, who click the like button, who share the videos, and get the word out. Make sure you click subscribe. Let's get to 400 subscribers by the end of today. Before this weekend's over, let's start the week off on a good foot and get to 400 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. We'll be back at them soon, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Go Knights. Larry K. out.